In today's video, I'm going to show you how to model a steel framing modular house in Robot Autodesk. I'm going to be going over the first steps I've used to design this modular house so that you can apply the same principles to your own project. I'll run you through from some basic tools up to wind simulation, rigid links and other advanced properties. Hey, I'm Gabriel, I'm a qualified civil engineer practicing structural engineering in Queensland, Australia, and I make structural engineering videos to hopefully help you to be a better engineer. Let's get started. All right, let's begin by choosing the frame 3D design. I'm going to start inputting structural axis. Let's go for my X, Y, and Z axis. I'll change the numbering here as well. My Z axis represents the height of the structure. Change the number to value. Click apply, close, pan around by holding shift and the middle click of your mouse. Let's get started in putting some steel members. If you don't have this, this section you're looking for in the drop down, just go to the library. I'm looking for a rectangular hollow section, specifically for a 200 by 100 by 5. Draw your columns from bottom to top. The order is important to keep the local axis always in the same directions for all the bars. So when you want to, when you want to analyze your shear force, axial force, or bending moment diagrams, all the bars will be in the same direction. You can use Alt E E M. It's a shortcut to copy your move instead of drawing all your members you can just copy them over can copy the members and just change the number of repetitions. Select your columns in the top floor. And in the sections, I'm just going to change them to 75 by 75 by 4. change my roof beams as well just right click display mark with colors section legend by colors 
then it's going to be easy to identify your sections. Let's just assume I've got a slope inside, so I'm just going to copy the columns, the bottom columns to the top floor. Select all your bottom nodes and apply some supports. Just going to choose a paint connection. It fixed the directions X, Y, Z. Apply, close. My top module will be craned on top of my bottom module and I'll create rigid links to represent the connection between these modules. Just go to Geometry tab, Additional Attributes, Rigid Links new rigid link and I'll block translation about X, Y and Z axis then you select the master and the slave nodes you can do that you can do the same with dummy bars if you wish Right, our structure is taking shape. Let's draw some bracing elements. I'll do a diagonal SHS sixty five by four. Those members will act either in compression or in tension. I'm going to select the whole structure. Edit, intersect, 
and this will create nodes at every intersection of bars. I'm also drawing some cross bracings. Just going to the library and find some 12 mil round bars. Select all my cross bracings, geometry, additional attributes, advanced bar properties, and take tension bars. As my rods are capable only of resisting tensile force and do not have resistance to compressive force. I think we're getting to 12 minutes in this video. I'll stop here for now. And in the next video, we're going to apply claddings, understand how they distribute the loads, apply the loads, run a wind simulation, and analyze the structure. Hope you liked the video. Don't forget to subscribe, and I see you next time.